Adam, what's going on? I didn't expect to hear from you. I didn't expect my doctor to find dormant augs hidden in my system. What? Dormant experimental augs. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Adam, you know the decisions I made for you two years ago. Yes or no? No! All the work we did on you was above board. You have my word on that. What, uh, what exactly did you find? Experimental test dogs spliced into my system. Kohler said something about a neodymium shell. Who would have designed something like that? God, you've got a Titan dog? It's impossible. It was just a concept. You just said this wasn't you. It wasn't. The DOD showed me schematics three years ago and asked me if I thought it could work. It was designed by somebody else, Vadim Orlov. Megan and I interviewed him once, but he wouldn't have fit in. Orlov? Sounds Russian. Who is he? Why wouldn't he have fit in? He was supposed to be a boy wonder, a neuroscience prodigy. Got his master's degree in Moscow, post-grad in the U.S. His grades were off the chart, but his theories were uh, sketchy at the times. Megan said his ethics were questionable. Megan? Megan Reed said that? The woman who gave you my DNA to experiment with? We didn't hire him, Adam. Two minutes into the interview and I could tell Orloff didn't like his ideas being challenged by anyone. Least of all, a strong woman like your ex. These schematics you saw. Don't suppose you kept a copy? They were classified. I never had a copy. The only reason I even saw them was because the Defense Department valued my opinion. Seraph Industries did good work back in the day. When we signed a schematic, you knew it was solid. I've got to find this guy. Adam, let me track him down for you. I'm leaving for London soon, but I can make phone calls, reach out to people. Seraph Industries may be gone, but my name still carries weight in certain circles. Do it. Contact me by info link when you have something. I won't let you down on this. I never felt right about losing touch with you after Panchea. When I heard you'd shown up in Detroit alive a year after everyone thought you were dead. Why didn't you get in touch with us? I couldn't. Rescue crews pulled me out of the ocean and dumped me in a clinic in Alaska. Nobody knew who I was. For a long time, neither did I. My god, son, you don't think... I mean, that could have been when... Find Orlov, Seraf. I've got questions I need answered. I will, I promise. I'll call you. Like I'm always telling you, Hano. People in all country are more genuine. They treat each other with respect. If a man has something to say, he says it to your face. Politely, that is what... Go away, Clegg. We're closed. Oh, he is not here to gamble, Vanna. Are you? You're Otar? I am Mr. Botcovelli, yes. And who are you? I'm here on behalf of a concerned third party. Oh, you hear that, Vanna? Our guest is a very private person. I found it pays to be cautious when you don't know exactly who you're dealing with. That is true. But sometimes it can create uh, problems which could have been avoided had they been more forthcoming. If neither man is willing to compromise, they cannot reach a satisfactory understanding. I would like to avoid any misunderstandings. Good. So in this case, since you already know my name, no doubt are other things about me. I think you owe me the same courtesy. I think the best way to describe me is a troubleshooter, and a friend of Vaclav Kohler. He tells me you have a shipment for him, so I figured I'd do him a favor and pick it up. Look, Vado. The man who still believes in dealing honestly. But only up to a point. Kohler must have told you that I refused to give him the calibrator. You know, dealing with Augs these days is bad business. 
How desperate Kala must be to send someone like you. And the answer is still no. Dealing with Kohler is risky, but he's proven to be dependable. Not always easy to find that these days. I need him to do some repairs, and he needs the calibrator to do it. What do you think, Valo? Are we hearing the full truth now? I think we are. But your self-interest is causing me some concern. Still, you have managed to intrigue me. So tell me, how far are you willing to go to help your friend, Kohler? If Kohler needs my help, I'll do whatever needs doing. What do you think, Vado? Could this man be useful? I think he could. It's like I am always telling him you can get a lot accomplished just by having a conversation. I will let you have the calibrator. Thanks. And what's it gonna cost me? Listen to the man, will you? Even when he gets what he wants, he does not trust it. What shall we do with such a man? What will it cost? A favor. What kind of favor? Ah, don't worry. Mm. I will let you know in due time. It won't be too painful. Not for you. <laughs> what do you say? Do we have a deal, Mr... Jensen, we have a deal. Excellent. Upstairs, in my office, you will find Collar's calibrator. I will be in touch. Like being so close to one of them. No, it's just your stuff. All right, Kohler. I've got your neuroplasticity calibrator. That's great! I'm gonna pencil you in for that optimization procedure. Just as soon as I'm done with this house call. What house call? I got this other client, you know, doesn't like to be kept waiting. Neither do I, Kohler. Call me when you're ready. I was stopped by someone named Drahomir at a checkpoint. He sent me here. Apparently you help Ogs with documentation, upgrade their permits. You have the money. Maybe. You want to tell me what I'm paying for exactly? You pay to get your name on the list. Melina upstairs, she works on your shiny new permit. You come back in one week to pick it up. Standard pickup fee will apply. How much do you charge people for this? Not people. Augs. 35,000 credits. You're not even trying, are you? You just blatantly scam Augs out of as much as you can. You want updated permit or not? Documents are actually pretty good. You'll see. Trust me, the girl is very talented. These documents, what are they? Stolen? Forged? Invisible? Look, just give me what you have, and I'll put your name on the list. That's how it works. Melina does surprisingly good work. Puts more effort in than we ask her to. I think I've heard all I need to about your offer, and about your friend upstairs. I'm gonna try my chances without the papers for now. Suit yourself. Only a matter of time before they come knocking at night.
if you go please don't shoot me you want to tell me what's going on here arts and crafts i think you work for those scam artists out there or do they work for you it was never meant to be a scam more like uh, social services for the disaffected you know like no og left behind looks like a forgery ring to me I hate the word forgery. I prefer graphic arts activism. I, I help people to, to to be other people. And seriously, try getting anywhere with forgery on your resume. You're involved in something that takes advantage of people, and you're worried about your resume? If that, that may have come out wrong. I mean, yes, career is important, but it's not everything. I know that. I, t I tend to get really nervous when I'm stressed. I, I mean, I, I'm stressed when... which always just makes things worse. Oh, okay, look, I have no reason to be nervous here, do I? You're totally on my side, right? One of the good guys, not like Dravomir. I'm not here to make you nervous. I just need you to explain it to me. The essentials of what's been going on here. <sighs> essentials, right. Essentially, I was trying to help my augmented friends. The way I saw it out there, the promise of fake documents was being used to extort people. How does that help them? The extortion part sucks. I swear to you, I'm totally anti-extortion. Obviously. Let me explain better. As the government, they print up these official permits each month. But they only sell them to the rich corporate and military allies. Meanwhile, the other orgs, they get kettled out of the city because their documents aren't up to date enough. That's what was happening to my friends. Government corruption versus organized crime. And regular people get caught in the middle. You gotta love the classics. When it was just me, I didn't charge anyone. But then Drahomir shows up and turns it into this big operation with fake checkpoints and ridiculous fees. I didn't want anything to do with that. I wanted to stop. Why didn't you? I was scared. Drahomir said he would kill me. Looked at me kind of... Like you're looking at me now. You're not going to kill me, are you? What do you think? I'm not sure yet. Look, the real problem is Drahomir and that checkpoint of his. Without him in the picture, the rest of them couldn't run a lemonade stand. Maybe you could... You know... You think I just walk around shooting people? Don't you? I like knowing there are other options. Okay, so stab him, scare him, or get the police to do their job for once. I remember Drahumir mentioning this cop who threatened him. She was hanging around his checkpoint. Who knows? Maybe there really is one good cop in Prague. It sounds like the safest bet. Otherwise, you're asking me to pick a fight with a bunch of guys in uniforms, scam artists or not. The whole city would come down on you. Still, up to you how you want to handle it. Right. And just so we're clear, you are going to stop forging documents now. I don't like getting into trouble. And even worse is other people suffering because of me. No more faking documents ever again. Unless someone really, really needed one. Then I'd probably do it. I mean, if we knew for a fact that we could help someone, we should do whatever we can, right? It depends what you have in mind. The docs I make, they really can fool the authorities. Sort of. Sort of? Drachomir flooded the streets with forgeries, so the city started tracking more, adding scanners, validation numbers. Now, unless one of my permits gets activated in the city database, it's just plastic. So you're telling me these people pay for forgeries and then probably get deported anyway? It doesn't have to be that way. I have two permits that I literally just made. And I think we can really help these people. If you're willing. All right, how do we help? Their names are Edward Broad and Irenka Bauer. Drachomir was going to charge them like 20 more times. But maybe you could just give them the forgeries? Early Christmas present? You said it's just plastic, that people get deported anyway. How does this help them? I think I know how to get them activated. 
as long as you're willing to follow through. All right. I'll go meet Edward and Irenka. In the meantime, are you going to be okay here? Once they learn that Drahomir has been taken care of, the others will leave me alone. He's the one I'm scared of. By the way, there is a safe over there where they keep their money. I'll give you the code. 2489. Feel free to help yourself. What about you? I'm way ahead of you.